Hi everyone, this is Elaine from Elaine Poyang Yoga Therapy. Today I'm going to show you how to plank. Now plank is something you've probably seen in other modalities of um, more in the fitness training realm. And in yoga, yes, we do a few planks. Um, and it particularly is a great way to strengthen your abdominal and in particular your core muscles and really just how to hold your body upright, hold yourself together and find that uh, deep inner integrity, so to speak. Now, there's a lot of um, misunderstanding and um, I don't want to say wrong, but incorrect and non-effective alignments that I see in a lot of people and in a lot of my students just because they can't really see their bodies, A, and B, because there is such a lack of internal abdominal muscle strength that they don't really, a lot of people don't know how to activate them. And even people who have done a lot of crunches, sit-ups, all these ab works, a lot of them still can't find a proper plank because plank actually uses a different set and actually deeper sets of abdominal muscles that your common abdominal exercises actually do not get to. I'm going to show you a few different ways that you can set it up, including uh, modifications and variations if you have any neck, shoulder, or wrist um, problems and conditions. I'm going to start with a forearm version and to set that up, you first come onto your hands and knees. You come down onto your forearms and elbows. I like to just measure out with my hands around my elbows, cupping around so that it kind of gives me a good distance. So my elbows are not too wide, they're not too narrow. Then I open my hands and then draw as my fingers. So I basically have this equal lateral triangle, so I'm going to just lift up so you can see. It's kind of like this, so it's not like this or not like this, it's equal lateral, okay? So I have that set up, this will give me a good foundation and good base. Now you can see my shoulders are over my elbows. I'm pushing down through my forearms and then drawing my ribcage in and up. You can see that? So if I'm relaxed, and I have really bendy way, so I, <laughs> it really dips all the way down. So this is something that I've, I had to work at um, to find this lower rib cage, abdominal muscles to sustain and hold this part of my body up. Okay. So once you have that, you can just stay here. This could be a lot of work already, especially if you're still trying to find um, muscles around this area. And it's hard because in our upper body we have the rib cage holding us between here and here. There's nothing except for the spine. It's all our internal and digestive organs. So it's really just muscles and connected to hues and um, of course fat. Um, so you really need to work at it. And because most of us are very numb around that area, I'm not aware of that area, it will take a little bit of time. So if at this point, if you're like, okay, I'm really working my arms, I'm really working my belly, I'm really feeling it, Stay here. This would be your preparatory plank pose. Okay? Now, those who want to go a step further, another layer, start to step one leg. And notice I'm really pushing out from my legs. I'm already strengthening that leg. I'm not just hanging my leg there. I'm pushing out, strengthening through that leg. Keep my lower belly pulled in and step back. So you notice that my hips are not hanging. Like this, let's crunch in the back. Too much of the upper arms. I'm not like this either. This is also bypassing um, using true abdominal muscles to hold the plank. Or like this, okay? Or like this. This is a dolphin or closer to dolphin pose than plank pose. So it's really nice, long, even, hence the name plank. Now my legs are really engaged here. Yeah, you can, I can feel my thighs hugging into my thigh bone. And the entire, my entire body is working simultaneously, equally together. So I'm going to come down now for a second. Okay, I'm going to show you a modification with uh, 
a block. So I've had students um, who still feel in their low back, even though they're setting it properly, they're really focusing on engaging their core. And it's not that they're not using their right muscles, it's because they already have a pattern of using their back muscles so much that it's hard for them to just kind of switch over. So it's gonna take a little bit more time for them. And in that case, I suggest using and holding a block between their thighs. And what this does is just kind of wake up your inner thighs muscles a little bit more so that you're actually, as you wake up your inner thigh muscle, your part of it is waking up your pelvic, excuse me, pelvic core and abdominal muscles, deeper abdominal muscles. And usually that helps for most of my students, clients who still experience a little bit of crunchiness in their back when they do plank. So in that case, I have to hold that block between their thighs. It doesn't have to be all the way up in the groin, it's just somewhere between your knees and your pelvis. Okay, again, set it up. Okay, so now with the blood between your thighs, you'll have to um, step out with more caution so that you don't um, drop the block. So again, I'm going to shuffle back a little bit, tuck the toes straight to one leg and then the other. Again, my legs are really, really strong and hugging the block. And usually this will take some of the work out from the low back into the core. Okay, so go ahead and come down and rest. In child's pose. We can stack the fists on top of the other. Okay. So now I'm going to show you a variation, or not variation, but another way to plank, which is just on the the hands, which is something that you see more often in yoga class, especially if you're going to a flow, vinyasa. Um, more dynamic styles of yoga. So you start hands and knees. Now make sure your fingers are spread wide, your middle finger pointing mostly forward. It's okay to have them slightly out, so make sure it's not too far out, not too far in. It's mostly straight ahead, even if your middle finger is pointing slightly forward, that's okay. Now really spread your fingers. You want to plant your finger pads down into the floor. Okay, that will delegate the pressure through your hands and fingers rather than just at this one point in your wrists. Then push down. Again, you can see my chest lifting. Again, this is relaxed. I'm going to push down. So I have my muscles around the shoulders engaged. I'm not just hanging from my joint. I'm pushing down. And then I tell drawing my lower rib cage in. So again, I'm just hanging through my joints. I step one leg. Back first, notice I'm really trying to find straight through the leg ready, and then the other leg. So, not sagging again, okay, this is bypassing, uh, using your core, not poking your bum out like this either with the arch in the waist, not pushing away from the floor. You want to nice and even, and it helps to do it in front of the mirror. So you can also use the block here between your thighs. Just have the block between your thighs before you come up if you want to uh, focus and work a little bit more on your inner thighs and core. Okay, come on down and rest. All right, so now I'm going to show you a version where if neither of these work well for you, or if it's just a lot of work, You can use a surface, so I'm going to use a chair here, but you can use um, a table, you can use a countertop, you can use your desk, you can use a chair. So this basically, this will become my floor, okay? This will help with anything going on in your wrists or in your shoulders, um, or if you're just trying to find that, abdominal, that piece of abdominal muscles um, so that you can further support and sustain yourself in a full plank pose. Okay, so I do have a lot of clients where I start them here. 
You're going to place your hands on the seat of the chair, whatever surface. If it's higher, that's okay. Okay? The higher the surface, the easier it is on the shoulders and the wrist. Okay? I'm just going to use the seat of the chair as my prop right now. Then I'm going to push down. Everything's still the same. You're trying to find your abdominal muscles, trying to find your arm, shoulder muscles, upper back muscles. And then you step one leg. Again, straight. And then the other leg. Strength. So we're at this diagonal angle. This will actually be less pressure in the wrists and shoulders. And if you're new to plank, this might be a good way to just get a feel of it before you go full on out. Okay? So again, I'm not sagging with my hips. I'm not poking my butt back or pushing back too far. This is all bypassing the true plank where you're really integrating all the deep muscles of the body. So I've got a breath here. And then step forward, and I'm back up. Okay. So these are all varieties, different ways that you can do plank. If you have any questions, feel free to email me. It's elaineyogatherapy at gmail.com. Or you can also contact me through my website, elaineyoga.com. I'll see you next time. So I hope you enjoyed the video. If you would like more content like this, I actually have an entire online course specifically for low back care. You can go to elaineyoga.thinkific.com to check out yoga therapy for low back care. That's elaineyoga.thinkific.com. I'll see you there.